In this video, I want to show a simple yet effective way to apply the VWAP, a VWAP indicator, to a footprint chart. We're going to look at a couple different ways to apply this and look at the important things to note when you're using the footprint in this, in this manner. So one of the first things to do here is to explain what I've done to this chart. This is a simple bid ask footprint chart. I've applied a footprint price statistics indicator on the right hand side this is a volume distribution I've applied the volume breakdown indicator at the bottom of the chart which is just plotting the delta per bar the delta is the net buying or net selling for that bar so when it's positive or green more buying or more trading at the ask has occurred on that bar and when it's red or negative it is representing more selling took place in that, bar, in that bar, more hitting of the bid. So we'll get into that in just a second. The other thing I've done is added a VWAP indicator. And I'm just going to open it up just so you can see the preferences real quick. It's called VWAP. It's in the technical indicator list. This is available in all versions of Market Delta. And the only thing I've done here is I've checked uh, one standard deviation band and a two standard deviation band and I've changed the colors uh, and the width but that's that's it okay so some of the things we want to look for are the how these bars build over time and there's some real obvious things that will jump out one will just be how they step are we seeing a market that's trending or are we seeing something that's just moving sideways uh, some of the things that you can pull out of each footprint or each bar, let's really look at it on a bar by bar basis at this point, will be that delta that's being plotted at the bottom. This is going to be something that's very useful, uh, especially as a market, notice this market turned right here as it tested the VWAP. This red line is the VWAP, volume weighted average price. Market traded down to it. Notice it went from a fairly strong negative delta net selling to positive so just tested it buyers came in it's confirmed nice just bounces up close to that second standard deviation line uh, before look the delta turned negative um, and it kinda went neutral and then we saw it actually start to start to drop off or sellers actually come in and start to hit it hit the bid and so you can see what's gone on here now in case you're wondering what time frame chart I'm looking at, this is a 1.25 range chart. This is the S&P E-mini. Um, you can look at this in any time frame you want, but I'm looking at it in this non-time-based periodicity for this example. Okay, another practical way that some may like, again I'm looking at the bid-ask footprint, but if I open up the preferences for this and just change it to a footprint profile and I'll just click OK and this will change it to more of a vertical volume distribution for each bar now a couple things to note here will be just the shape some people like to trade the shape of the bars no matter what time frame you're looking at I know many think of it on a daily maybe market profile and thinking of the shape that way but you can apply it on a micro level uh, maybe this is too micro it's up to you uh, but more on a micro level to get an idea of where that high volume level is is it near the top of the bar near the low of the bar um, where did it come in on the test and probably one of the most useful things to me and it's, it's real practical and easy to use and it can be seen whether on this footprint type or on any other footprint type is the high volume price now in this one the footprint profile it's easy because it's the widest bar right we can all see that and so what I look for and one way to gauge especially like here we get a test and then this high volume level steps higher and then higher you can you basically start to monitor these short-term trends or rotations in the market and when it becomes like you can see here it went the high volume point went from here to here markets coming into balance and you know we're pressing up against that second standard deviation so maybe it is time for the market to go into congestion of course it could keep going higher but you're trying to bring everything into context and relate things 
And so that's one way of approaching this. And I'll show you. You can see this. If I go back to the BitAsk footprint, you will see it's it's real obvious. Well, it's not, not, as, not as obvious, but you can see that black outline price. And that's what that represents is that high volume level. All right, so moving on to some other things you want to look for. Let's let's just take uh, let's take this example here. The the color is representative of net buying or net selling at each price. So any shade of blue represents more aggressive buying, and any shade of red represents more aggressive selling at those prices. So some of the the concepts that you'd want to pull out of here is how is a market behaving at key levels and what are the key levels well in this case we've applied the VWAP so those are going to be presenting the levels that we we want to pay attention to the red line remembers the VWAP and this would be one standard deviation and the green would be two standard deviations so as a market approaches these levels for instance as it approached here notice there's strong buying going on it blew right through it but as it went higher, notice the shading. It's not as dark. And then especially up here, the, the shading's much lighter, representing it's more of a neutral trade. The buyers and sellers are a little bit more evenly matched. And if you look down here, notice how the delta, as it went higher here, the delta was actually dropping off. And so this is giving us a clue that the buyers and sellers are starting to evenly match up. Uh, even though price did trickle higher, but it's up against a second standard deviation, which should be a key level we should want to pay attention to. We were pressing highs of days, and so this was a, a key turning point in the market. So to kind of summarize that, one of the key benefits that the footprint per, footprint provides is not just whether bars closing higher or closing lower, but it gives you that added context of color and order flow within the bar allowing you as a move progresses are we seeing that move the underlying strength within that move volume are we seeing that dry up and so that's one of the biggest pieces uh, that the footprint can contribute to trading it's kinda gauging when is it time when is the right time to come in and execute the trade and combined with key levels uh, support resistance or some of these VWAP bands it could be a nice a nice tool to complement. Okay, and lastly, let me focus on just one really one thing here, and it's what type of market are we in? Are we in a more of a trending market or more of a rotating market? One of the things you'll see in a trending market, and today up till now has been that it's still early in the day. You can see the market is traded up. Um, we're up. We're up around here right now, and you can tell that the volume, as we've gone higher, more and more volumes come into the market. But in a trending market, and this is the point, the market will go up, test an upper band, and pull back somewhere, find some, find some matching up of the buyers and sellers, consolidate, and then continue on another leg higher. And as what you'll see is things like this around these key levels, you may see some dark, dark red, or possibly dark blue when it when it comes out of that consolidation. Because what you're seeing here is sellers trying to push this market down underneath the VWAP and it's really demand demand is sitting there, passive demand. The buyers are basically saying, okay, I'll give it to me, I'll take it. I want to get long here around the VWAP and the sellers are selling into it, uh, trying to hopefully get this market to break and it's not breaking. And that's what you you know that's what you see the market rotate back. Let's go to the current market. So here we are at the current current market. Now in a market that's more sideways or rotating just back and forth, a lot of times is what you'll see is you'll see these dark these dark levels, not necessarily at a VWAP, because that's really where it's rotating through. You'll see it more at extremes. So maybe the one standard deviation or maybe the two standard deviation band. You'll see maybe dark blue up in here or dark red down in here. And it's a little bit contrary to what you think. You think, well, the market's getting ready to break out uh, to the downside, if, for instance, if we were down here. But really what it is is it's just a matter of the sellers are puking out at the exact wrong time, and uh, the market's going to swing back the other way. 
So hopefully this has been uh, insightful for some and uh, you found some ways that you can apply this. Keep in mind, you can apply these, I use the VWAP as an example, but there, you could use any indicator moving average. Really try and uh, focus on these concepts of applying the footprint, what it's telling you, and when it might be the right time to execute based on the information that it's showing. Thanks and make a great day. Thank you.